Christ is love revealed, spreading God's word from pole to pole, making love known and freedom real. Faith of our mothers, holy faith, we will be true to Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. We come together on the feast and the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary to give God praise and to thank the Lord for the gift of our Blessed Mother. That we may worthily bring the Lord our prayers and petitions, we pause to call to mind his goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only be Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. 
and those whom he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 18, I love you, O Lord, my strength. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. An account of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, Perez the father of Hezron, Hezron, the father of Aram, Aram, the father of Amminadab, Amminadab, the father of Nashon, Nashon, the father of Solomon, Solomon, the father of Boaz by Rahab, Boaz, the father of Obed by Ruth, Obed, the father of Jesse, and Jesse, the father of King David. And David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah, Solomon, the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam, the father of Abijah, 
Abijah, the father of Ashath, Ashath, the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram, Joram, the father of Uzziah, Uzziah, the father of Jotham, Jotham, the father of Ahaz, Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah, the father of Manasseh, Manasseh, the father of Amos, Amos, the father of Josiah, and Josiah, the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shalathiel, Shalathiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiad, Abiad the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok the father of Akim, Akim the father of Iliad, Iliad the father of Eleazar, Eleazar the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man, and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look. The virgin shall conceive and bear its son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. It seems uh, to be the modern or the uh, present fad to find interesting and unique names for children. So anybody who's looking for a unique name for a new child, uh, that list we just heard, some of them are dandies. There's an expression that God writes straight with crooked lines. And when we look at the genealogy of Jesus, certainly that would seem to be true. Uh, some of the people that uh, are listed in his genealogy were real scoundrels. Um, and even ones that uh, have a good reputation, uh, they had their faults and failings. It's interesting in the genealogy it says David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah. So the, the, the Matthew in, in giving us this genealogy isn't trying to paint uh, all Jesus' ancestors as being uh, wonderful people, but he's very much aware of their weaknesses and their frailties and that the Lord has worked through those. In our first reading today, Paul, writing to the Romans, says that all things work together for good for those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. Certainly, uh, in the end, as we look back on things, we can see how the Lord has worked through the genealogy of Jesus, uh, through Mary, his mother. And if we can trust in the Lord, if we can learn from uh, what we read in the scriptures and from reflecting uh, on this genealogy of Christ, we too can trust that the Lord will work in our lives and he will bring to good uh, all things for us, though at times we may uh, struggle, we may have trials and, and great difficulties, but the Lord will work through them all for those who trust in him and who seek always to serve him well. With confidence in God's goodness and recognizing our need of his assistance, let us stand and offer to him our prayers. We pray for our Pope and for all of our religious and civil leaders, that they may always be open to God's guidance, and that they may have the courage and wisdom they need to lead well. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves and for all who have been given the gift of faith, that we may day by day trust the Lord and seek always to do his will, for this we pray to the Lord. 
We pray for the sick and the suffering, for all those who are struggling with any type of weakness or illness or oppression or pain at this time, that in the midst of their trials, they may feel God's presence and his consolation and grace. For this, we pray to the Lord. Pray for those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven. For this, we pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning, both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, set the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good of God's holy church. As we celebrate with joy the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast in veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the high. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. 
and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence in God's goodness, let us pray that his will be done in our lives using the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you, that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow toward the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. The body of Christ. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 610 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Taste and See. Taste. 
and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the I will bless the Lord at all times. God's praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord. For God has been so good to me. Yeah, sure. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us all praise God's name. I called the Lord and he answered me. Worship the Lord, all you people. You want for nothing if you ask. Taste and see that God is good. In God.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May your church exult, O Lord, for you have renewed, renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world through Christ our Lord. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, Mary, you you always always shine shine in our our path path as a sign sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust entrust ourselves to you, health health of the the sick, sick, who at the the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping keeping your faith faith firm. You, salvation salvation of your your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, We may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger. O glorious Glorious and blessed blessed Virgin. Virgin. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. We have a special threefold blessing for this feast. May God, who through the childbearing of the blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning chant is number 465 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Mary, Woman of the Promise. Mirror 